logged on today I would like you to invite your friends to uh, join us right now as we go into this brand new week of sharing the Word of God with with you taking the leap of faith taking the leap of faith I would like you to um, invite your friends click on the share button and uh, so you can so they can be a part of today's broadcast I'm gonna give you some time to do that just click on the share button invite your friends to join us as we as we discuss as we go on this teaching on taking the leap of faith I believe when you do that God is going to bless you tremendously for being a part of sharing the, the Word of God and I know that your life definitely will not remain the same because you are a part of propagating the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ so why don't you do it now as we go right into sharing God's Word and uh, learning more about the walk of faith and taking the leap of faith that I believe would would not just bless your life but will also help others life to be transformed and to be in the right way that God wants their life to be. Let us start with a word of prayer. Father, we thank you. Today we give you praise. We acknowledge your presence now. Speak to us, Lord, by your spirit and let our life be transformed forever. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. Taking the leap of faith. You know, we are in a season we're stepping out out of faith or stepping out in faith is inevitable and more than ever before if we're going to accomplish what the Lord has in stock for our lives individual life corporately in our community we have to take a step of faith we have to take the leap of faith we are surrounded by so many things that are so uncertain so much uncertainty in our world so much going on in our world that we cannot go through life without taking the leap of faith without acting and living by faith you know the bible tells us uh, in second corinthians chapter 5 verse 7 that for we walk by faith and not by sight God wants you to take a leap of faith you know, and to experience God's best for your life or in our lives we must take the step of faith you must step out in faith you must get out of your comfort zone and get to the place where you are pleasing God or pleasing to God because God is pleased when we take that leap of of faith and the step of faith the Bible tells us in Hebrews 11 verse 6 made it very very clear it said to us that and without faith it is impossible to please God without faith it is impossible to please God without faith the message of faith cannot be exhausted God really wants us to walk in that light so without faith you cannot please God it tells that they that come to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him so a step of faith is a step that can often make no sense but we have the assurance in our hearts that we are taking a step according to the Word of God a step of faith can often not make sense to us but we have the assurance in our hearts that we are taking that step according to the Word of God you know faith is not blind taking a step of faith is not walking blindly 
Taking a step of faith is based on information that you have received from the Word of God and your confidence in that Word. So you step out based on what you have heard. You know, every day we are moving in one level of faith or the other. The things you do is because you believe in them most of the time. So when you take a step of faith, you are taking that step in accordance with the Word of God because you believe God's Word and what the Word of God says. So God wants us to step out of our comfort zone, take step out of our comfort zone and take that step of faith that will literally propel us to our place of destiny. Remember, take a step of faith is God's call for your life. That's why it tells us in 2 Corinthians 5, verse 7, For we walk by faith and not by sight. Many times we are too fearful to step out of our comfort zone. Many times we are so afraid to step out and, and do the things that God has called us to do according to his word. The Bible tells us that we are to walk by faith, not by your senses not by your feelings, but we are to walk by faith and not by sight. Second Corinthians 5 verse 7. How about Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5? Is a trust in the Lord with all of thine heart. Trust in the Lord. You know, there are many times, there are many of you that are watching right now that, you know, your trust in God have dwindled for some time now. You got to Get back your trust in God. You see, God can be trusted. God can be trusted. He is too faithful to fail. So when you step out in faith, you are stepping out in accordance to what He has said, in accordance to His word. So He tells us, trust in the Lord with all thine heart, not in your head, with your heart. And do not lean on your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your path so it's god's call for us to trust him taking that leap of faith requires our trust in the lord our trust in the lord and when you trust in god it becomes very easy to take that step of faith you know how do you respond when god calls you to take a step of faith how do you respond when God asks you to step out? There are some watching now. This is already month of January. Remember the year is going, going by quickly. The Lord has already given you some things to do to step out in faith. How are you going to respond to that? Are you going to be afraid? Are you going to be scared? Of course, I understand that most people, you know, you, you like you, you love the idea of adventure, but the actual moving out of your comfort zone can be very frightful. And I know that's for somebody here today. You like adventure, you like to step out, but just the I just the the the, the 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 actual taking that step can be very frightful. And understand that, you know, perhaps rather than hesitating, you jump full into it but quickly become aware that when you step out that sinking is a possibility you know there are some that are afraid to step out because they are afraid and there are some that step out and they are very afraid of the possibility of sinking you know stepping out in faith can often can produce fear in people's hearts but if your eyes is fixed on the negative possibilities or the outcome rather the source you know there are always possibilities to succeed there are always possibility to to win of course to fail and to lose but what is what your eyes is focused on that helps you in the journey instead of focusing on negativity or focusing on the possibility of failing when you focus on the possibility of winning and on the positivity you are prone to experience success as you step out 
in faith. Remember, God has a wonderful plan for you. He has a plan to make you all that he wants you to be. Remember, he tells us in 20, chapter 29, Jeremiah verse 11, For I know the thoughts I have towards you. They have to prosper you. So God really wants to prosper you. But are you willing to step out in faith? Because everything that has to do with God requires a step and an action of faith. And the action of faith is your participation in the process of God taking you to your place of destiny. If you don't step out in faith, the things God has in stock for you may never come to fruition in your life. You don't want to go through life regretting at the end and wishing you stepped out in faith. It's time for you now to step out. Take that leap of faith. God really wants to prosper you and his path is already very stable. You have a responsibility that is of faith. Remember disciples. Disciples, we are on, on a boat, you know, and uh, at the sea, and there was a strong wind that came against them. The boat was being battered by waves. When Jesus comes walking on the water, you know, as you can imagine, these disciples, they were very terrified. They were very scared and very afraid. They thought what they saw was a ghost. Yet his voice told them otherwise. There are many times you can see something, but you need to hear the word of God that could speak otherwise to what you see. The disciples were terrified by what they saw. But when they heard that voice, they knew it was Jesus Christ. And Jesus told them, take courage. It is I. Don't be afraid. I'm going to encourage somebody right now. You don't need to be afraid of what you see. You don't have to be afraid of the circumstances that look hopeless in your life. All you need is that word of God. That says, come up hither. Get out of your comfort zone. Take that step of faith. Don't allow the things you hear. Don't allow the things you see. Don't allow the things you feel to get you worried. It's time to step out in faith. If you look at that passage or the exchange, there was an exchange that took place. Peter, one of the disciples, decided to take a step out in faith. Peter decided to take a leap of faith you know taking a leap of faith is very important to experience the supernatural you know so peter decided to pursue the master but he needed a little more confirmation and that is that it was truly him that is that is speaking you know, if you look at the passage very carefully peter suddenly boldly said master if it is really you, ask me to come to you, Jesus said. I'm, I'm reading right now from Matthew chapter 14, 28 to verse 31. I'm reading the Message Bible. Peter, if it is you, ask me to come. And Jesus told Peter, come ahead. So Peter jumping out of the boat and Peter walked on water to Jesus. But when he looked down at the waves, shining beneath his feet, he lost his nerve and started to sink. He cried out, Master, save me. Jesus did not hesitate. He reached down and grabbed his hand. Then he said, Faint heart, what got into you? This is a very important passage. When Peter heard the voice of Jesus Christ to come up, to come to him, Peter was looking at Jesus and he was able to walk on water. But the moment he began to look at his circumstances, he began to doubt. God wants us to take a step of faith. You know, it is easy for us to look at Peter in, his, in the situation and ridicule his action. You know, Jesus was standing right in front of him. Yet how many times have you heard God's voice you know it is voice, yet you shrink back in the fear of what if. You must take this step. 
God is always speaking to you. Whatever He tells you to do, you have to step out and take that step of faith and take that leap of faith. You know, as you read that story again, you, you recognize there are four things that can help you to move forward when you are stepping out in faith in obedience to God. There are four things that we want to discuss. You know, you have to take a step of faith. You have to launch into the deep. See, your obedience to the Word of God brings you victory. Your obedience brings you success. It's your season today to cast your net. The Bible says that the Lord has not given you the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. It is time to do it again. It is time for you to pray again. It is time for you to sing again. It is time for you to worship again. It is time for you to win souls to Christ again. Cast your net and you have the biggest catch of your life. It is important that you understand until you step out in faith, you may never experience the biggest catch of your life. Until you step out in faith, you may never see the, the, the level, the dimension of increase you expect to see in your life. I just pray today that you think about this word. You walk by faith and not by sight. You have to take that leap of faith. There are things the Lord has asked you to do. There are things that, you have, that you've heard the Lord tell you to do. You cannot shrink back. You got to step out in faith. When you step out in faith, God backs up His word. God, God backs up His word when you step out in faith. Don't look at the circumstances. Don't look at the what if. What ifs. Don't look at that. Just boldly step out. You got one life to live. And this is it. If you don't step out in faith now on this earth, when would you? Because when you get to heaven, you are already in the presence of the Lord. You don't need any of that. It is on this earth that you need to exercise your faith in the Lord. I'm challenging you today. Make up your mind to step out in faith. Make up your mind to take the leap of faith so you can accomplish all that God has for you. Take a leap of faith into the supernatural. Take a leap of faith to experience the dynamic of, of, you know, of, of the manifestation of, manifestation of divinity. Take a leap of faith. Jump into the cloud. Experience God like never before. It requires faith to experience God. It requires faith to experience higher levels of the supernatural. You got to just step out and expect God to move in your life. This is your season. This is not a time to shrink back. It's not a time to allow anyone to discourage you. It's a time to step out. Remember this, that faith is a legal entrance to the realm of the supernatural. If you don't step out in faith, you will never experience the supernatural. And the supernatural of God is an atmosphere that brings you in contact with the Godhead. You got to step out. It's the legal entrance, is the beginning, is the first step to experiencing God. You are created to experience God. You are, you are created to have an experiential knowledge of God. God wants to touch you. God wants to give you desires of your heart, but you have to step out in faith. Man, I want to stop here today because I want to share the remaining part of it with you tomorrow. But tonight, we have special services going on. We'll be having this in January 21 days of glory. We're having services nightly at the address right on your screen. I want you to come. God has been moving in a mighty way. Things are happening. People's lives have been transformed. Last night, we saw yet another move of God greater than the previous night, activation and impartation of the Holy Spirit on the life of people. Come and be a part of that. Come and experience God. Just don't be told, be part of that. 
Doors open at 6 o'clock, service begins at 7. Come, there is a seat, there's a seat for you. Come on time and have a good parking spot for yourself. God is going to move mightily again tonight. But you got to step out in faith and experience all that God has in stock for you. I'm going to talk about this tomorrow as I discuss the four things you must remember when you step out in faith or how to step out in faith. So as you log on tomorrow tomorrow morning, I'm going to share with you how to step out in faith. I trust you have been blessed today. Remember this, you have to walk by faith and not by sight. Don't be afraid. Don't be scared. The journey you are embarked on can only be lived successfully by faith. And God backs you up when you take him at his word. Until we see you again tomorrow, remember you've been destined to win and there is nothing the devil can do about it. Keep on walking by faith and not by sight. Your victory is already guaranteed. All you have to do is to step out in faith and experience your greatest victory yet. God bless you. See you tonight at 7 and of course tomorrow for another edition of Golden Nugget for Supernatural Living. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.